The first step in getting you set up with iTunes University is to, of course, download iTunes itself. Now, if you already have it, bear with us. We're going to go to Apple's homepage, which is www.apple.com. This will take just a second to load. And once it's loaded, we're going to go to the iPod slash iTunes tab. Now, over here to the right, we're going to go ahead and see the link to download now for iTunes 7.0. Now, by default, it has Mac OS X, which is Leopard, to download iTunes 4. But if you're operating out of a Windows-based computer, you can say Get iTunes for Windows. And for either of them, you just click the blue button that says Download iTunes for free. Now, once we have iTunes downloaded to our computer, we need to go ahead and log into iTunes at ASU. So we're going to go to the website itunes.asu.edu. And what this is going to do, it's going to log us in as a student. So we're going to pass the yellow button, we're going to go to this little link right here, and that's going to let us log in as an ASU student. So enter in your US ASU right user ID and password. And what this is going to do is it's going to launch the iTunes that we installed on our computer automatically. So we should see iTunes popping up here. If you haven't explored a Arizona State University's iTunes U, there's a lot of free material here. But the material we're going to access is limited to just students. So we're going to go ahead and scroll down to the courses box. You can go ahead and see all the different material here. But in the courses material we're going to go ahead and click on the current semester which is uh, 2008 fall. We're going to, to scroll all the way down to the bottom where you're going to find CMN 225 public speaking. And this is going to take you to our classes iTunes University page. You can go ahead and see the class description here. The links we've provided on the right-hand side are, of course, Arizona State University, the Communication Assessment Learning Lab, which is where you're going to be giving your speeches, and, of course, your Blackboard shell. Now, down here is the real meat and bones. Here are the podcasts that Professor McConaughey records from our lectures for you to listen to. If you just want to listen to it, go ahead and just double-click on it, and it'll play within your iTunes browser. But if you're on the go, you're more than welcome to download it and upload it to your iPod or MP3 player. So you're just going to go ahead and click Get, and we can see it downloading here. Just click the Downloads tab, and once it finishes, you literally just double-click, and you're set to go.